New at noon, the Miami City Commission met today amid major city hall chaos. It was the first time that they held a meeting since the arrest of the top aide for the mayor of Miami. Local 10 News reporter Madeline Wright joins us live in Miami with what was discussed. Madeline. Good afternoon, Samantha and Janice. The former communications director for the mayor of Miami is charged with multiple felonies, including computer pornography and promoting sexual performance by a child. The mayor has released a written statement on the subject, but he hasn't spoken on camera about it. And today he avoided speaking about it when one of his longtime rivals brought it up here at City Hall. I'm the president now. I should say this. Sparks flying between Miami City Commissioner Joe Carollo and Mayor Francis Suarez. You're the only one that's been sitting up there trying to influence uh, this body constantly at the same time that you want to be exempt from the Sunshine Law. And I'm not going to sit here and allow you to tell me when and how to do my job and where to do it and how to do it. Thursday's commission meeting is the first since the arrest of the mayor's former communications director, Rene Pedrosa. Police say Pedrosa invited a teenager to his office, inappropriately touched him, and sent him a picture of his penis. If uh, you would have uh, presented the same attitude, this macho type attitude that you're trying to present today, <laughs> uh, maybe you wouldn't have the mess that you have up uh, in the second floor with your esteemed uh, former advisor, communications director, Mr. Pedrosa. Meanwhile, Carollo is facing his own controversy. Political committee Take Back Our City is working to collect more than 1,500 signatures to recall Carollo, whom they accuse of abusing his power, breaking promises, and lying. You're already trying to recall me with well, that. I'm not trying to recall you. Of course you are. I know, but I will eventually. I, will, I, will, I may have to join that effort. Oh. Back live, you can see Take Back Our City has a traveling billboard with their message on it. The group brought about 12 people to the meeting today as part of a silent protest. They're hoping to get all the signatures they need for the recall within the next 30 days. Live in Miami, Madeline Wright, Local 10 News.